Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to try the Clarisonic Foundation Brush Attachment. This Clarisonic Foundation Brush Attachment is made to go on your Clarisonic. We're gonna switch out the little brushes, the cleansing one for the foundation one, and this is supposed to help you blend your foundation better. And we're gonna see if that's true. Not only am I going to apply my foundation with the little foundation attachment, but I'm also going to use it to blend my contour and my blush. Before we get started, I am going to pull my hair back because I don't know how messy this is going to be. Okay, let's start by switching these brushes. Just pops out and the new one just pops right on. It's wet. It is softer than the cleansing attachment, but it is kind of scratchy. So I'm interested to see. It's definitely firmer than any brush I've used before. So I am intrigued. Okay, we're gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna put my foundation on my little acrylic brick. I'm gonna start with one pump. I'll just see if it takes more or less than usual. I'm kind of nervous. I know when I clean my face with my Clarisonic, it like pauses and pulses differently. So you know when to switch to different parts of your face. And then it turns off after a certain period of time. So I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's try it. So I just tapped the brush into the foundation and I guess I'll just start. Okay, so that is how much the foundation covered without picking up any more and just going until the cycle stopped. It's kind of crazy. My face is all tingly from all the buzzing. I'm going to get the rest of this to finish this side of my face and my forehead. We'll do it again. Okay, that's all of my foundation blended in one pump of foundation and two cycles of my Clarisonic. Overall, I think it did a really nice job of blending all of the foundation. I do have a little bit on my nose that I'm going to turn this back on, blend my nose just a smidge more. But I think it did a really good job. I'm going to say that worked. It was really easy. It was very nice. No, I would not recommend you using this in your everyday on the go makeup bag where like you're sitting in your car and you pull this giant thing out to do your makeup before you go somewhere. Not that any of us are going anywhere right now, but you know, in the future, it is bulky. You do have to remember to charge it. If you do use your Clarisonic at night or in the morning to wash your face, you would have to switch the little brushes back and forth. I didn't notice any kind of scratching or firmness as I blended. It was really lovely. Aside from the bulkiness of just the Clarisonic in general, the instructions do say that you're supposed to wash the brush after every use. And okay, yeah, sure, we're probably supposed to do that with all of our brushes anyway, but let's be honest, who actually does? But if you're wanting a really nice airbrush look, I think it did a really great job. Now let's go in and do some contour. Instead of applying the contour to the brush itself, which you could do if you were using a cream, I want to try just drawing the lines on my face and seeing if you can move the product with the brush. So I'm going to use my KKW Contour Stick in Light. I think I did a better job of blending on this side. This side still kind of looks like a line, so I'm gonna go back over that a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of the Tarte bronzer and try it with this cream formula. I think it did a good job of blending in, but it's just so light and natural that I think it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm gonna keep playing. Take just a little bit on my brush. I think it blended both the stick cream contour and the pan cream contour very well. It was very easy to control and easy to push the color around a little bit. Now let's move on to blush. I'm gonna do the same thing that we did with the cream bronzer. I'm just gonna pick a little bit up.
This blush is pretty sheer, so I'm gonna add just a little more because I like a bit more of a pop with a blush. I did pull a little bit of the color over here because I was afraid I was getting too much. So let's finish this side. I'm gonna say that is a go for the blush as well. I am going to add a quick highlight, brows, and gloss, and I'll be right back. I'm all done and I'm back with my final thoughts on this Clarisonic foundation brush attachment. It works. I really can't hate on it. It blended everything very smooth. I think my foundation application looks fantastic. It does have a very nice airbrush kind of quality to it. I think it blended the contour well. It applied the blush well. I think it's pretty cool. Is it a necessity? No. Is it a must have for amazing makeup? No. But is it kind of cool and awesome and helpful and nice to have if it's in your collection? Yeah. In no way am I going to tell you that you need to go buy a Clarisonic just so that you can get the attachment. Not at all. You can live your entire life just fine without ever having a Clarisonic or a Clarisonic foundation brush attachment and still have wonderful skin and beautiful makeup. But if you're like me and you've already got a Clarisonic that's been in your drawer for a while and it was dead and you had to charge it to do this video because you just got this attachment, then yeah, it's a great way to turn a tool that you're not really using much into a different tool or a tool that you like and you you always have with you into a multi-use tool but like I said it is not a necessity or a must buy or go buy the whole thing just so that you can have this if you want to know more about the Clarisonic itself and the skincare attachment, let me know in the comments. But just judging on the foundation brush attachment itself, what it claims to do and what it did, I will say it did what it claimed to do. It was really awesome. And if this is something that you have been wanting and you have use for, it was really great. I still have the same two thoughts I had earlier. One is that this is kind of heavy. Two is that you do have to clean it afterwards. And as I was playing with it, I do have a third thing to keep in consideration and that is how many cycles we went through while applying a full face of products. I think we went through two and a half cycles for foundation alone. I think it was like two cycles. I really wasn't paying attention to counting. I should have. I think it was two cycles on contour and like two cycles on blush. So that's like four days worth of using your Clarisonic in the morning and night in just one application. So keep in mind, you will have to charge it a lot more often than just using your Clarisonic itself once or twice a day. Other than that, I think my makeup turned out beautiful. I think it's really cool for a company to create a tool that goes from skincare to makeup and make it multi-use just by changing the tiny little attachments. This takes up less space than a brush. It does come with a little lid, so if you do have to toss it in your bag, you don't have to worry about it snapping in half or anything happening to the bristles. I think that's really cool. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this Clarisonic foundation brush, or what do you think of beauty tools in general? Is there anything else I should check out? Let me know what you guys wanna see in the future. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me today. I absolutely love being here with you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I launch a new video and I will see you guys next time.